Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is May 1st. I don't know. It's, it's May 1st here in New York City. Uh, but we just solved the second problem. That's why it's a little bit awkward. But let's, uh, you know, today and most days when I'm not too whatever, I will try to do a bonus extra RNG prompt that I haven't done yet. So let's take a look. If my computer lets me pay, click on the buttons. But uh, yeah, all right, let's go. And it is loading. Today we have a hard one, uh, a 685 redundant connections too. This problem of rooted tree is a directed graph, okay, such that the... What? I mean, this already is not a tree. Neither is this, what? All right. Such that there's exactly one node, the root for which all other nodes are the descendants of this node, plus every node had exactly one parent except for the root, which has no parents. The given input is a directed graph that started as a root tree of n nodes with one directed edge added. The added edge has two different vertices chosen from 1 to n and was not an edge that already exists. Okay, so then now... Do, 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 do. We turn an edge that we move. Oh, I see. Okay, so you have to remove one that makes it uh, a, a tree. So we have that means that given a, a graph with n nodes, we have n edges. And we have one extra edge that we have to do. n is 1000, which is interesting, right? Because what that means is that. I mean, it's, n squared should be fast enough. If n squared should be fast enough, then we can just practice all the edges, right? I think that's the thing that I'm a little bit confused about because that's just not interesting. Is why, right? Uh, I mean, it could be, of course, the code uh, screwy where n squared is too slow even for n is equal to a thousand, but unclear whether there's a faster solution, right? I mean, I think there is prob. Ooh, this one is kind of tricky. Actually, mm. no, I guess it's kind of awkward. Do we have, do we know what the root is? Hmm. Oh. Well, I mean, that's still fine if there are multiple answers. I guess my, my thing is... Um, solution. But maybe it's just n square, right? So what does that mean if it is n square? Okay, so given these edges, so we remove an edge, then what does that mean? That means that um, for every, then we just need to do two depth of search. You could do a depth of search from every node going upstream to get to the root node because that's by definition of how this works because it's a rooted tree. And then just do a depth of search from there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, okay. I mean, I'm going to try the n square way. To be honest, I'm not confident about this being fast enough. But all of that is on Leetcode's fault because, I don't know, if, if it doesn't work, I blame it on Leetcode. I guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Right. And then here, what I want is for you, we, in edges. And remember, these are directed. What I want, and this these are one, one, uh, one index for whatever reason, but that's fine, maybe. Uh, dot append we. But we also want we want to go uh, up edges, so maybe we'll just have parent list. Uh, I mean, I, I was trying, to, I was debating, um, <clears throat> I was be debating doing some funky thing for going upstream, like put, but it's not necessary. Just create another list, Larry. It's fine, right? So then now here we can just and maybe instead of a pen, we want to use a set. So then I can do removals easier. Um, okay. Right. And then now, um, 
Yeah, it's a little bit awkward, but maybe we can can uh, reverse edges, right? And we, and the reason why we want to reverse it is we want to return the last one that occurs, right? So then we might as well reverse and then return the first one that occurs. So then for you, we in edges, um, adjacency list of you, we move we, parent list of we, we move you, and then we do our funky things and then we add it back in, right? Uh, and then is there a return negative one type thing? Doesn't seem like it. So okay, so there o there is always an answer. Uh, okay, so then now maybe if good, we return you we right. Yeah, of course we have to define good, and here we can go from any node to find the root, right? So yeah, so. We have, we'll just call it that for search. Um, is it even a that for, no, you don't even need to that for search, right? It is just, um, just going up to parents. But you have to be, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, the thing that you have to be careful about is that there might be cycles, and if you have cycles, you do have to terminate. So that's the only thing that you have to be careful about. But otherwise, you know, we can just start at just say current is equal to one, right? Scene is equal to force times n. And I guess n is also the number of edges because we technically it should be because we have an extra edge is that the idea, right? Uh, or just we put in the set, why not, right? So then now while and parent list, huh? I mean, in this case, three has two parents. I guess that's the issue, but it doesn't matter because parents list. I'm just thinking why it would be a thing, but because this is a tree. I mean, I think there is a very easy filter, right? Which is that if this is a tree, then um, if one node has two parents, that already is wrong. So then maybe we can do something here. And then now maybe we could just convert it to a, a lookup table, right? So then now we can do if we is in parent list, that means that it's already done. That means that, um, that then we can just return UV because that means that we need to remove this because this is the second uh, incoming list, right? Otherwise, we can set parent V as equal to U, right? And here we can just maybe remove it by the, uh, U is equal to uh, previous parent is equal to this thing. Uh, and then we remove it. And then we set it back. All right? Yeah, so basically this is just a quick shortcut of, okay, the two things incoming to this node, the second one, I mean, one of them, removing either one will fix it, but we want to remove the second one because that's what they say, so that's how we remove the second one. But there is another case which they generously do tell you, which is this cycle case, right? Um, no node has... Um, two thing incoming so we have to kind of look at here so it has to be something in the cycle but i'm still going to go with the n square solution because i think in the worst case the cycle will have n elements anyway so it's not that interesting to special case it i think but i don't know wait all right let's go uh while okay so scene add not in scene Scene dot add current and then current is equal to parent list of current, right? Um, if if current not in parent list, then we're done. 
because that means that the, this node does not have a parent, right? <clears throat> well, this is very awkward, actually, the way that I wrote this, because it I have to also determine that okay, if current is in scene. Um, that means that we have a loop, right? Uh, maybe I want to do something else with this. Then, if current is not this, then we can return current. Maybe I will just call this uh, get root, right? So then I could early return. Um, otherwise. We return negative one for having no root because there is a psycho and maybe that could be done uh, So root is equal to get root, right? If root is equal to negative one, then there's a psycho and we return false because removing this edge We still have a psycho. We probably should look at that psycho and get it, but otherwise it's fine Right, otherwise we have a root. So that means that we are able to do a that first search Right and then now we basically do a traversal of the tree and just make sure that um, we do not visit any node more than once, right? So then now we do scene is equal to set maybe, right? And then we have a defer search. Oops. So we do a defer search on the root, right? So if, or what is it? Uh, maybe we do like um, uh, uh, if bad is you go to bad is you go to false maybe uh, we do root for we in what's, what I call it adjacency list okay of node right and we just do DFS of we um, but we want to do uh, if we is in scene then that means that um, bad is Bad is your true. This is very terrible. Th this code is bad. But otherwise, we want to defer search into it. And here we write scene dot add node, and then that's it, right? So then now we return not bad, which is also, you know, this code is pretty bad. Bad, not bad. Let's see if it works real quick. Uh, in write it syntax while well, current not. Oh. Not in scene. How do I write this backwards? I am just Ill illiterate today. Uh, okay, looks good on these two cases. I'm not confident to be sure, but let's give it a quick submit because I am lazy and I do have a wrong answer. Um, is it a real wrong answer or am I just like doing something silly? Okay, so is there a visualization thing here? No. Okay, fine. Okie dokie. Okay, let me. Um, hmm. So two, one, three, one. That already means one the two one three one should be right. Why is it now? Is it the answer three one? Wait, let me look at this graph. Maybe I maybe that assumption was wrong that I have here. Um, uh, so you have I'm I'm drawing on a thing right now. So two to one, three one, four uh four to two. And then one to four. Oh. Huh. I guess I was wrong. I thought that. I mean, it is true that one of those have to be removed. But it's not always the second one. Okay, fine. Mm, that makes it awkward. Okay, fine. I have to uh, change some of my things. But that's okay. Well, no, no, no. That means that's fine. But, hmm. Alright, fine. I mean, it's still fine, but I... Uh, fine. Yeah. If... We is in parent list, then... Um, <coughs> possible is equal to... Do, 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 say... That means that well, that means that we only have two things to check is what I wanted to do. It, it I don't think we need it as an optimization. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll we'll just make that as an optimization. But uh, okay, fine. 
Uh, okay, then here we can just say do, 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 right. And then here maybe we can just do um do, 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 and then here also if length of parent list of current is greater than one then we return negative one because this is because this is not uh, an edge because yeah uh, we did not remove one of the edge from the parent list so uh, we could probably clean this up in a better way but for now that'll be good enough uh, collections uh, hmm How can that be? If it is in parents list, oh, because of the removal, it could we can actually remove the parent, even though it is on the list. Okay, fine. That is uh, that's the next case I didn't actually anticipate, but okay, fine. Uh, then we can just write this this way. It's. Okay, give us submit. Hopefully, oh no, huh? Oh, did I put the wrong order? Oh no, okay, that's very awkward. Right, I'm drawing this again. Uh, uh, we have. I mean, I I can. I guess it's kind of almost right because it is. We know we need one of them. But clearly, I am also just struggling. But that's okay. Five, three, two, to four. No, five, two. Did I misunderstand this? Mm, oh, I see. Um. Mm, okay. Fine. I think one thing that uh I did. The case that I missed here is that I I I leave the graph unconnected. Even though we don't see the same thing twice, that's not enough because we leave the graph unconnected or disconnected. Sorry, uh, because we leave the graph disconnected, then it's not true. Okay, fine. So then here we go. If length of scene is not equal to n, then bad is equal to true. I think that should fix it. Hopefully. Oh. Huh? Wait. I didn't change anything here, did I? I could also just add a return in. But I mean, if there's an infinite loop. Oh, wait, yeah. Did I delete something by accident? I don't know. Well, anyway, I fixed it. Let's give it a submit. Hopefully, no more wrong answer. There we go. I mean, our idea is kind of right. It is a little bit awkward. Uh, I mean, the worst case is still going to be n squared. I think that's the part I struggle with, and I was focusing all my energy on that. Um, that I did not recognize this problem for what the difficulty is, and that's why I kind of did it very sloppily and hastily. Um, there are two edge cases. Let me actually draw it out right now. Uh, I, I didn't really... Sorry, I, I was on debugging, but um, but the first observation that I I made is that um, well, let me put it up real quick. Right, the observation that I made is that if you have something like you know, uh, and this is the, one of the examples, would, would you, if you have two pointers, eh, let me change the colors real quick. If you have two pointers pointing at the same node, it has to be one of the two edges, right? But that's not enough because as we saw in the other example, you could have something like one, two, three, four, you know, you have a cycle and then now you have to remove one of them, right? And obviously not two of them edges. And in the worst case, it's going to be n squared because you have to try all of them, right? Um, 
Though in theory, you know, in the worst case, then you only have to try one of them because you because we count them in the reverse order, right? Still, um, so okay. So what happened? How how did I make a mistake? So the first thing I thought was that okay, um, the first error was just that if I had two things incoming, like in this example, I just removed the second one th that um, they list. But I didn't actually think about it. I just didn't think about it to be honest. Table came on. Press the one button somehow. Uh, okay. So the the thing that uh, the case that I got is something like this, right? So if I had um, so basically here the two pointers coming at one, right? Um, and I just removed the second one, and the second one that I removed was this one, and obviously that's no Gucci, um, because, well, you know, I mean, the other half is a psycho, so, and you're disconnected, wait. But I should have also have that, realized that at this point, that, um, but I didn't, I just kind of focused on the psycho part, and not the, the disconnection, because that is one the same, which is what gave me my second wrong answer, is that there is uh, this other case, which is very similar, really, Oops very similar um which is this case right the twos and the threes don't really matter i think but it, uh well the two does matter but not the three so you have something like this um so so yeah so i just checked that removing uh this one allow us to Basically, I didn't I didn't check that it was I mean it is kind of connected, but this is obviously not a tree because there's no way to get to four from say one, which is which is the root, right? So then now, um, so yeah, so I kind of rewrote it so that we have to visit all the nodes and we remove the correct one. And that's pretty much it, and I think that's the key thing about having a notebook at, and especially for graph problems, is that you can kind of visualize it very quickly, and as you as you see what's going on, then you can fix what you want. Um, the mic solution is going to be n square, where n is the number of nodes or the number of edges. They're they're the one the same for this particular problem. Um, I convert them to an edge list, uh, uh, an adjacency list, an edge list into an adjacency list. I reverse the edges, and then I brute force each edge to remove to see if it's good. And it is good if um, basically we try to get a root. We can find a root if there are no psychos. If there's a psycho, then we can find a root, and then we just kind of return. That you have to remove one of the edges from the psycho. So if there's no root, no Gucci, right? Um, or if in this case where you still have an edge, where you have two incoming edges, then it's still not a right tree, right? So now you have root. If it's negative one, we return false. If there is a root, then we just do a depth first search. Um, basically, the idea here is that we don't look at the same node more than once. But what I also should have added, and I added later about this thing, is that we look at each node at least once, so that it's connected. I don't know. I'm very really sloppy for the. Uh, I can't even say it. Very really sloppy for me for today. But uh, but yeah, that's what I have for this one. I'm hungry. Maybe that's why an allergies is kicking my butt. I can barely breathe through my nose, and I am just going to eat a lot of allergy medication so yeah that's all i have for now thanks for watching stay good uh actually let me show you the code really quickly uh here's the top it's a little bit long oh, to be honest 60 uh 62 lines here's the conversion to, to adjacency list and the parent list um this is the good function which is barely one screen for um, you, if you want to bring it in two parts, there's this part for getting root, the root, and then this is just a standard depth of search, but I didn't check for the right thing the first time. And here it's a, it's a very simple proof force for checking, you know, removing each edge. And remember, edge is already reversed, so we, we remove them in reverse order, and as soon as we can find one that we can remove, we, remove, uh, we return. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.